Go live. It says we're live. Okay. I hope to God this is working. God, I do. <laughs> if somebody could please comment about for whether or not they of, can the see. Of, for the love of God. And hear I love anything. <laughs> I love how your comment is, she has vanished from text now. She is an abyss of invisibility. <laughs> Okay, I see people coming. Can you guys hear us? Uh, can you comment that you can hear both of us? Can you hear Daisy? Because she's the one that's like doing a little bit of different stuff, mic wise. Yeah, so, I am doing. I'm doing. When she says I'm doing yay! different stuff, when she says I'm doing different stuff, it means that I don't know what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> I, somebody said that they could see and hear, so I think we're good. Bowling Thank Girl, God. Kentucky. Hi, Larry. I just ate there last night. Oh my God, you guys, I know, that's where we ate on our way down to Georgia. Listen, so we stopped at a Mexican restaurant, right? And we tried the front doors, couldn't get in. And, but we noticed that people are eating in this enclosure, right? And yeah. so there's like, they've created outdoor seating that's in a tent. Okay. You're blue. Greg, Greg says that it's working. My husband says it's working. And you're blue yeah. because of those lights. And he says I'm blue because of the lights behind me. Now you're pink. It's fine. Sorry. Tell okay. Stop okay. Talking. okay. Go away. Okay. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> so Go away, they've Greg. created essentially a tent for people to eat in that is considered patio seating because apparently in Kentucky, they're not allowed to do indoor seating. You can only eat outside. So they've created an enclosure, right? that it is enclosed that is still inside. Oh my God. I mean, it's so dumb. And so yeah, that, it's that all, happened it's in Bowling all Green. Stupid. I actually, the place is here. Like there's a little town in Texas that, you know, I went to um, just, you know, it was earlier and um, it was interesting how it's a general store, right? And on the sign on the outside, it says you need to wear masks, like masks are required in the store. But then you go in and nobody's wearing them. So I feel like a lot of places like are posturing for government, like they're posturing yeah. and saying, hey, you have to wear masks in here because, you know, the government says we have to wear masks. But then you get inside and it's like, you know, because they don't care. They don't care. So, you know, it depends on where you're at. And like some of these smaller towns, they're like up yours, government. But they put but they posture because they don't want anybody making trouble. Right. You know. So I think I'm frozen. Are we frozen? Oh my God. Hold on. I'm frozen. Hold on. Oh God. Oh no. You guys, is it just me? Am I the only one in? Okay, you guys, like, make a comment if I'm the only one in here. I think I, that's really okay. Now she's gone. I'm still live. This is so okay. I'm looking for her. I'm thinking I was not allowed in here, but okay. I think what happens, I'm still on. Hold on. I'm telling her I'm so, oh my God, what a cluster. I think I have to get off because she's running it and then we have to both get back on so we're gonna get off this is so bizarre she lost internet you guys she lost she's texting me right now she lost internet so i'm gonna go ahead and get off and we're both gonna get back on because she's the one that runs the um yeah okay she says bye I'm going to get off. We're going to get right back on. Hold tight. Everybody hold tight.
Are you guys there? <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> okay, hang on. <laughs> Just try it. Oh my god. Oh my god. What a no, what I a don't cluster. even know. I lost internet. I'm just I'm on a hot spot with my phone now. Were you guys what? here the whole time? Like were you guys just chilling out? Oh my talking? god. So you wait, wait. So we never went away? I don't think so because when I came back, people were still talking and it still said live. So I left for no reason. <laughs> why did I why did I even go? I, I should have just hung know. out and ha why did I ha why did I leave? That was I don't so know. dumb. Okay, <laughs> so anyway. I don't know like how this will look like after the fact. If there's going to be a giant pause, we're or... going to look like idiots. We're going to look like <laughs> giant idiots. That's what we're going to look like. Shocker. Well, that's a given. That's a given. Yeah, it's a um, shocker, everybody. So, <laughs> so, is it, so what's going on? Well, it's interesting that you ask that. Okay, you're. I can't. I can't. Like I can. There I am. Do you see me uh, now? Now I can. Hello? I can. Do you see me? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god! Oh my. This is so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What yeah. So am I? Am I still breaking what up? Is up with what is up with the Georgia like connection? I thought mine was bad. Well, I was on their internet, like the Wi-Fi here, but now I'm on a hotspot through my phone because I think it'll be okay. better slightly, yeah. I guess. I don't yeah. Know. Um, okay. There's so much going on, not the least of which I saw is that um, Meghan Markle had a miscarriage. Okay. But it was months I ago, apparently. Okay. I saw something about that too. Yeah. I saw okay. that. This, I saw that this morning. That's terrible. Yeah. And then, um, Bernie, you Bernie, what do you got? Um? <laughs> yeah, so you and Elizabeth Warren will not be a part of the cabinet because oh. he really needs you both in the Senate. See Biden does. You know, a lot of his cabinet, you guys, this cabinet is basically Obama's cabinet. Is this is yeah. all we're going we're going back to Obama like 2000 what 10 is what I feel like we're reverting back 10 11 years now. Am I the only one who believes this? I no, think that, like, but it's actually a little bit of a relief, right? Because like why? Well, I mean nothing why? to believe. Like if he if it, if there's a Biden administration, it's awful regardless, but at least it wouldn't be like an AOC cabinet. You know what I mean? It's yeah. more like a O Obama, which is awful, but it's not as awful. It's like just a certain, it's like a different degree of awful. Yeah, um, it's, it's, I'm it's not really, no, I'm I not mean, really it's all bad. bad. I mean, John Kerry somehow on a, on, is it, he's on the cabinet, isn't he? Is he somehow yeah, in a new position that is the climate czar? What <laughs> the hell? I know. <laughs> what I what know. do you do for a living? I'm a climate czar. <laughs> <laughs> I'm but the czar of the climate. <laughs> I mean, can you Wait. even? It's so stupid. It's I so cannot. Stupid. I, I can't with these people. Yeah. Um, the other thing that I saw is that somebody at our publisher, Penguin Random House, who published Right for a Reason, they yeah. um there's some staff member there at the Canada part where they broke down in tears because they were trying to block Jordan Peterson's next book from being published because they say that he is a icon of white supremacy. <laughs> and I just, I can't. Jordan, Jordan Peterson, Jordan Peterson. Yes, is. that's correct. <laughs> wow. Okay. I know. We, like that's just full on crazy, but they didn't block it, right? They, they were, they were unsuccessful in blocking it. Yeah, I think the good news is that they were made fun of for like having a meltdown about how he is the um, icon of white supremacy. So, so far, so good. I didn't even realize he was writing a second book because he's been so ill. He was like, he yeah. went to Russia for all kinds of weird experimental treatment and stuff. I don't know. It was like, it was a big fat mess. So, yeah. and then I am here well, in the state of Georgia where there are rumors flying that conservatives are going to boycott the runoff because they're so pissed at how messed up the federal election became that they think it's a good idea to boycott the runoff. And I want to strangle anybody who is doing that. What in the world? How is this helpful? Yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't, I haven't really been keeping up with what's happening in Georgia. I don't know. 
I mean, that's, uh-huh. that's all I heard is that there's actually people who are either so disillusioned, which I get by what happened in the, in the November election that they're right. just like, why bother? Like, why should I even bother voting? But that's yeah. crazy. I mean, that's mm-hmm. insane. So the whole, the, like the country is riding on Georgia at this point. And so people need to turn out, even if they feel like, you know, it's not fair and it's rigged. You still have to turn out, man. If yeah, I, I don't know why voting, I don't know why you would boycott like right? that doesn't like that doesn't like what i don't understand what you're what does that even what does that mean what does that do what like you're an idiot <laughs> right exactly like that <laughs> like you're boycotting what you're you're boycotting democracy what are you boycotting yeah well, i don't even understand what a rigged election system there that i mean i guess well, and i i get it. i get that people are mad but like that is a terrible yeah, but, way to handle it yeah, but you don't just not do anything. Yeah. Boycotting it boycotting in that sense is you sitting on your ass and doing nothing. And I don't see how that helps. It doesn't help. It's it's the worst yeah. idea of all time. I feel like that's just basically you rolling over and giving up on everything. Yeah. And that doesn't it's not helpful. No, it's, it's terrible. I mean, what we need yeah. more than ever is for conservatives to turn out way more than Democrats right. can, right, you know, to because they're working. You know, Stacey Abrams is all like, "I'm, I've secured six hundred thousand mail-in ballot applications or whatever." Of I course, mean, it's, of course she has. Of yeah, course she secured that. Yeah, right. I mean, so people, yeah. there's got to be some equal people here. Need to be doing the exact same thing, not retreating. You know what I mean? This is what I can't. This is what I can't understand. I don't, like, I cannot like, believe listen, that. Listen, I, I hear Tom said, why would you vote if the outcome is predetermined? Because you still do. It's you like, still have it, to. It's kind of like, why would, why did, why did, why did Rocky keep swinging and Rocky too? I don't know. Cause he was a <laughs> badass and he kept swinging. What, what kind of a question is that? I, don't, I know. I'm sorry. I, maybe I just have a different psyche than maybe that's. Well, you and I not, are. We're we're like this because we because should do a high five. Do you think you could do it? <laughs> <laughs> it's the uh, <laughs> I have it. I'm doing it. Listen, Take your other you arm guys, you don't and do it. <laughs> do it. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you guys. Okay. You guys, you don't you don't stop swinging. You don't no. stop swinging. You do not. What is that? That's Why? a terrible you know, this idea. Is the problem. I gotta tell you, this is the problem with conservatives. We're a bunch of dang wusses. We roll over. We don't fight. This is what our problem is. We don't fight. Well, that's not. That sucks. Well, and it's like the same people. I don't know if you guys saw. I got into, into a fight with so many people. They were so mad that after that um, press conference last week with Giuliani and Sidney Powell and Jenna Ellis, I was like, "This, I'm sick and tired of this." Oh, we're hu- we're holding a huge presser. There's gonna be bombshells, and like it's gonna be amazing. And then like there's nothing new. There's no evidence. So I was frustrated, and I, I wrote about that. And people were so pissed off at me. They were like, "You're just giving up," and I'm never gonna. I'm unfollowing you, and I'm never gonna listen to you again. Blah. And I'm just like, okay. Then what? Are you mad at Tucker because Tucker said the same thing on his show that same night? And so and then, everybody, and then so and did they, Rush. Yeah, and people were like, "Yeah, I'm mad at Tucker now." And then I asked the next, or, you know, yesterday, I think it was the day before yesterday, I wrote another post saying, okay, you guys, now Rush is saying it. So can you cut me a break here? Can you realize that it's actually okay to criticize Trump's team? It's okay to do that. And it doesn't mean I'm less of a Trump supporter. It doesn't mean I am not hoping and praying that this election result turns around. It just means I'm frustrated. And I feel like if you're not, how are you not? And can I please yeah. have some of what you're drinking to make you not? Because yeah. I would love to feel that too. Yeah. And I listen, I get it. And I know everybody's going through like a rough time and they all, they're disappointed by how everything turned out. But, you know, I mean, I conservatives for the most part, and, and I understand why, because over the past, past four years, they've been beat up and they've, you know, they've been victims of cancel culture. And I under, I do understand that. I do. But at the same time, you know, the, you how do I put this? I mean, I don't want to sugarcoat it too much because, you know, this is what we do. Right. But at, you, you teach people how to be treated, right? Mm-hmm. We've, ta- we've taught these people how to treat us by being yeah. polite. 
we it's taught true. them we taught them to walk all over us and so now they freaking walk all over us because we've been yeah. so damn polite that they have just like taken advantage and they've taken advantage because we've never freaking fought back you know and this you, is what we do there's an amazing thing that just happened that i don't know if you can see it on your screen but izzy long just somehow like sent us ten dollars <laughs> i don't know how this happened on youtube but there, do you oh see my god, it? I do. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I don't know how that what? happened, but it Why? says Izzy Long. I don't know. I clicked on it and he asked a question. It says, Did you hear YouTube banned OAN for a week for violating YouTube's COVID rules? Also, Mock, how is your son? Rock on. And I, oh I don't know. God. I don't know how that happened, but thank you very much, Izzy. Oh my God. Izzy, that um, was very nice. Very sweet. And yes, my son is doing fine. I mean, it was a it was a rough four days. I'm not going to lie, but it was he's OK and he's at home. And I saw him mm -hmm. yesterday before I headed out of town. Thank you very much to everybody. Thank you, Daisy, because I know you did the video saying this is what's happening. And it was like a Listen, really I, it, was, it was a bad weekend. <laughs> I, just, I just did. I just did a video. You were the one in the hospital. All I did was a damn video. You don't have to well, thank me. I, it, no, I do because I you you brought out people to send prayers and thoughts and well wishes for him and I feel like that makes a difference. I really do. And so wow. I felt it all. I read all the comments and I rubbed it in really hard and I feel like that is what turn would help turn the corner because it was not good. You know, I mean, he there was a night, I couldn't believe it, Saturday night. And this is because my mom will call me and she'll be like, you got to get out of the hospital and take a break. You got to go out, get it, you know, go home for a half hour, get a shower and go back. Here's why I don't. Because on Saturday night, you know how they have the monitors and they monitor your heart rate and your oxygenation or whatever. And so he, his oxygen saturation dipped into the 60s which is bad. Okay. Bad. And he was out. Like I could not rouse him. I couldn't get him to respond. He was like, I was losing him and, and alarms are sounding everywhere in the hospital. No one is coming. And so I'm like, what is the purpose of these alarms? If nurses aren't actually going to pay attention to them. Right. So finally I whip open the door and I'm like, you guys, somebody, somebody come in here immediately. So they come in and they're shoving oxygen on his face and they're, you know, they're literally blowing like tons of liters of O2 on him. And he finally kind of startles awake and then starts breathing again. But I'm just like, if I were gone and if I had chosen that half hour to go, yeah. I mean, this is why I can't leave. And so I, you know, and he, it's not like he's going to call a nurse. He's not, he doesn't know. And so that's why I stay. And my mom's always like, you're going to get so over, you're going to get overstressed. Well, I would be more stressed out if something happened to him in the half hour I decided to leave. You know what I mean? Right. So, and I don't, I still don't even know what happened. I don't know if it was, I, I don't know if he, because apparently he just got so lethargic on Saturday during the day that he was practically unconscious. He was sleeping so hard and so passed out that I feel like he got so much gunk in his lungs and he's really bad at clearing his lungs out anyway. But I feel like he got so gunked up that he, it just clogged up an airway and he just, and he was so tired and sleeping through it that it didn't occur to him to breathe. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. So, oh my gosh, I think somebody just sent more money. Sandra Onaya Sigler, it says $9.99 like, why? Why, why super sticker. Why are you doing that? Why are you guys doing what? that? Why? Stop doing that. Pam running a super sticker. Why are you sticker. doing that? <laughs> what you is guys, happening? Stop it. You guys, oh my God, I don't you even guys, know what those are. You guys, it's not a telethon. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. I don't know why that's happening, but you guys have got to stop. Why? Stop it, stop it, stop Oh my stop God. It. Oh my God. Mary, I don't know what we're supposed to do. So use it for gas money, Marianne. Uh, do we... <laughs> <laughs> it's no, I'm just, I mean, I don't even know where it's going or like how it's, I, don't... <laughs> I have no idea what this means. Thank you very much. Sticker. We have, we have no idea how to I don't know what money. This, means. this is why we have no money. <laughs> we... <laughs> This is why we've never hit the big time. It's like people uh, just throw money at us right. and we're like, we don't know how to accept I know. it. We're like, we don't know how to do it, you guys. Oh my God. Rochelle said, quit your job, Daisy. We'll pay you. If only you could do that. So we, oh my God, so I right? could actually, right? I swear. Oh and my then God. You can come you guys, back. 
You guys only knew. That would be so fantastic. Oh, my God. Yvonne! Yvonne Kano just sent $10. She says, I just want to thank you, precious gals, for bringing joy to my quarantined life. You're you amazing, guys. and we love you all. Oh, my God. How? 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 It hurts. <laughs> it hurts. Not, it can't. You guys. Ow. You guys, and we don't—we're not even like technology. Like our tech is bad. Everything is bad. You guys, you're right. You're right. Hey, what are you doing on Saturday? Are you still going to be there on Saturday, Mary? Or are you coming? I will back? be in South Carolina on Saturday. Do so what? Friday. Do you, you want to try to do this again on Saturday? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We should. Are you, for are sure. you guys around on Saturday? Because I mean, like I've we're because obviously tomorrow everybody's going to be with their families, and you should be with your families and not doing any of this crap. <laughs> you shouldn't be doing any of this, okay? It's an imperative that you are like with uh, like 20 people eating lots of turkey and we won't tell anybody. We won't tell the government. No, we don't, we're not turning anybody in. We're not turning like, any of you guys in. On Friday, we're, you know, we're visiting our friends in South Carolina mm -hmm. who are of advanced age, I guess is a way to say that. Um, right. <laughs> Right. And, but they wanted to come and I can't wait to come. And I, you know, there's nothing more important than like the people in your life and to avoid them because it's you're ridiculous. afraid of a virus that 99% of us are all going to survive. Even if we get it. Right. What are we doing? I mean, it's I just, dumb. I can't, it's, it's dumb. I can't imagine like being, if I were a grandparent, I'd be like, you bring all the kids to me and I'm going to kiss all their faces. I want everybody right. around me. I would, I can't imagine. So that so Friday and then Friday we we're, we're going to be with family too. But Saturday, um, we're we're not driving back to Indy until Sunday. So okay. so Saturday we should try to do this again Saturday. And you know, I'm putting that out there now, so you guys sort of just be around. I don't know what time, but maybe sometime. Could we do it? Because we'll be morning. checking out of the hotel. Um, like I guess at whatever checkout time is eleven so, or whatever. So morning, you want to do morning time? Yeah, if we can do it, like you know, uh, like if I'll get up and get showered and everything, and then we could do it sometime in the morning yeah. that would be perfect let's do that we'll we'll see we'll have you we'll see you guys maybe for like late coffee on saturday morning if you guys yeah. are up to it and i'll see how everybody's um thanksgiving was and just see what the news looks like and and do a little chit chat on saturday i think that would be nice because we really miss talking to you guys this week i and, know um, yeah, sorry I for all the stuff that happened I, listen <laughs> i, I mean I'm, I'm glad that we got to do this today it wasn't much I know. Of, you know i know there's not been i know there's been some news most of it has been biden picking out his stupid cabinet that's not even his cabinet because he has no say in it it's mostly right. it's basically obama going on a book tour his third autobiography because it's a complete narcissist did you guys see hold on i'll show you did you guys see what he um his, i don't know if you saw this moth this is crazy but his his um cover of in style magazine i don't know if you Who's? saw this obama's Obama. oh, my you, oh my god oh my god can you see this oh, yeah. look at how smug yeah oh my god that is the cover of in style magazine and and the and the headline says that's what i do <gasps> <'Cause> I, <laughs> I can't. oh my i can't he's the like amount, oh, it's I want to smug. flick him. I want to flick his it's face. Just, and I put, I was like, this is the definition of smug. Like this guy is so smug and it's, he's so arrogant and like, but he's, he's getting all the interviews. Don't you think the timing on this is just crazy? Yeah. Yeah. The timing, the timing to me is, is nuts because it's like Joe Biden is the president elect now and they've got Obama doing all the interviews right now. He's doing the interview circuit. And I'm like, isn't that interesting? Wow. Cause it's basically his third term y'all. It's his yeah. third freaking term. These people are loony. Uh, yeah. Quick note. Thank you very much to see Bob white for the super sticker. <laughs> I just can't with all of this stuff. It's so what crazy. Is, what is that? What is that? Well, you know what happened? I think I must have turned something on that I didn't even know was a thing. Because, like, last week I was oh on God, our little. Yeah. yeah, do you see it? Yeah, oh, there's I another do. one from Marianne Curry. She Hi, sent Marianne. a super sticker. Oh I don't know God. how, like, what's going to happen to those stickers or what it means. But, like, I turned on a thing that said, hey, do you want to turn on super chats? And I was like, sure. I don't know what that means, but I'll turn it on. And so they're on. And I guess that's what it means is oh that my. people can send super stickers. This but that so shouldn't cool. mean that people are paying us. Like you I thought guys. that would just be like a new, a neat, cool emoji. You, you know what I mean? So sweet. You guys are so, so sweet nice. and we love you. Yeah. And I, I hope everybody, we hope everybody <laughs> out there has the most amazing day tomorrow. And I hope you guys are all surrounded by family 
and everybody that or friends or yeah. whoever you're you're you know what do they call it family you know yeah and we hope family. you guys are surrounded by everybody that you love <laughs> and that you get to eat lots of food we're getting um we were supposed to go to rancher friends of ours but the lady had to go pick up a horse in florida so we're not going to her house we're gonna actually have oh my god we're gonna have dinner here at the cabin you know i don't cook so i'm <laughs> So I was like, oh crap. So I'm going to pick up a Thanksgiving dinner from a local barbecue place. And I'm having, oh my God. Yeah. So we're going to have turkey and all the fixings here in this tiny little cabin. Y'all can see my daughter's bunk bed behind me. This is, I'm like in her little room. <laughs> so we're going to have a uh, dinner here at the cabin with the cows and stuff. And it's going to be fun. And I'm, I'm super excited. We're just going to have a couple of our kids here. And I'm super excited. So hopefully you guys will be doing fun stuff with your families and, um, and then, you know, just love getting all the love and all the cuddles from everybody. Okay. I love Thanksgiving because it's it's all about food and family, you know? Thank you, Ron Hayes. Stop. Please, everybody stop doing that. It's so nice. Oh, I know, God. right? Right? Can't. Can't. I'm going to cry. Right. My God. Stop and it. Ev and everybody, please keep praying for Mock son. And it's, I he's, know he's it's much better. He is home. I don't know if I mentioned that. He is home. Um, and so, you know, after that horrible night Saturday, he had a great Sunday, much more calm. He's still, I understand from his um, house manager that he is still having some rages and they are attributing it to the fact that he had four solid days with me for 24 seven. And now I'm not there in his face constantly. And so he's angry. You know what mama. I mean? He wants his That's, mama. Yeah. So yeah. I feel bad that I, that we left right after, but um you know, he was stable and fine and, and they're, I know he's in good hands. So yeah. <laughs> well, we love you guys and we hope you have a wonderful yes. Thanksgiving and, um, and we'll talk to you on Saturday. Yeah. Let's I'm make kind of that excited. happen for sure. Let's do it. Let's do, let's do. Let's bring How, it in. Let's bring it in. You guys bring it in. <laughs> it's a Thanksgiving. Bring it in. I hope I you, called everybody's name who was sending the things. I, I mean, if I miss somebody, it's just because we have absolutely no idea what we're doing. So we'll get you. you we'll much. look at we'll look at the comments and get to you afterwards. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Thank yeah. you, happy, guys. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Bye. Happy okay, I'm ending the broadcast. <laughs> 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 <laughs>